Happy Sunday, everybody. Oh, and look at me with my camera not set right. You like seeing my head chopped off like that? Okay, we are going to have some fun today. We're going to make strawberry shakes because I don't know uh, what it's like where you live, but where I am right now, just let me adjust this a little bit. Where I am right now, it is supposed to be plus 34 today, I believe. And uh, that kind of heat seems to me that we need a cold treat. Now, while we're making our cold treat, I got to tell you, I am having um, amaretto, sugar-free, no alcohol, um, Da Vinci syrup in my coffee this morning, and it is lovely. It's one of my absolute favorites. I have several favorites. Have you noticed that? Okay. Well, hmm. I hope you have a big cup of coffee with you. And we are going to make a milkshake today. And we're going to make it dairy free. Now, one of the things, good morning, Mom. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that if I have too much dairy, especially if it. Oh, especially. Look at me forgetting to turn. There we go. Do not disturb. We're good to go. Okay, so if I have too much dairy, especially if it is whipping cream, um, I get very phlegmy, I suppose, for lack of a more delicate word. So we're going to do this because we already have the heat to deal with. And heat can make you feel puffy. It can make you feel sluggish. It can make you... So we want to make sure that whatever it is that we're doing... Good morning, Del and Evelyn. I'm glad you guys could be here with me. Whatever it is that we're going to do on a hot day like today um, needs to make us feel better. That's true all the time. That's why we're doing keto, right? So let's have a little bit of fun making a strawberry shake. Now, the very first thing we're going to do, and I forgot to put this in the fridge last night, so I threw it in the freezer this morning is we're going to add 125 grams of coconut cream. Now, the coconut... Now, I've showed you guys this brand before, and I get this at Costco, and that will be going in the fridge in just a little bit. Um, what I've done is... Just let me show you here. Okay. What I have done is I have only taken the fat off the top. Now, two things are good about this. Um, it reduces the carbs. Not that there are a lot of carbs in this anyway, but this makes them even lower. So instead of having two grams of, of net carbs and 125 grams, we're only going to have one in this. So we're going to add that to our little mini blender. So we have 125 grams of the coconut fat off the top, and that's also going to help our our milkshake be a little bit thicker. The next thing that we're adding to this is a tablespoon and a half of chia seeds. And chia seeds are mostly fiber. So in 15 grams of table of chia seeds, we're only going to get one gram one gram of net carbs. So we're going to throw that in there. Chia seeds are an awesome cheat if you're trying to thicken something because it's, it isn't even possible to see on these little bitty seeds, but they have this little pocket of, of yummy magic around them and it turns into this gelatinous mass. So it's wonderful for something like this because it's going to thicken our milkshake. And that's what we want. If it is not quite thick enough, that's okay. You can add a little bit more chia seeds to it. And there's one little chia seed left in there. So, okay, now a little bit of extra flavor. We are going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. And that always makes things taste a little bit better. Don't overdo it on the vanilla. You know, something to remember, and it's something that Del and I found out when we were driving truck, there is enough alcohol in vanilla that if you're driving a, a truckload of it somewhere, you have to have dangerous goods placards um, giving people a warning. So 
That being said, I don't imagine that you're going to be drinking enough of this to have any kind of an impact on your ability to drive, but it does have a little bit of an impact. So you want to use what you need, not less than, but you don't want to use more than either. Okay, now, if you make jello, and we're making a strawberry shake today, and the reason that we're making a strawberry shake today is because I just happen to know that Dell's favorite is strawberry shakes, and I love them too. So, we made jello yesterday, and the strawberry jello we didn't use, so we're going to use that in our milkshake today. So if you don't finish it all, now this is sugar made with sugar-free jello, so if you don't finish it all, um, you can throw it in the well. You can throw it in the fridge, regardless of whether you use Jello or not. But we're going to use about eh, half a cup of Jello ish, thereabouts. And if you throw it in the fridge afterwards, it's going to firm up and it's going to turn into something wonderful and terrific. Okay, now. This is going to give it the strawberry flavor. If the strawberry flavor isn't as strong as you want it, well, two things are true. First of all, you can do this with um, just the strawberry jello powder. You're going to have to add a little bit of water, something to, to thin it out. But you can do it with the strawberry jello powder. But if you have leftover jello in your fridge, doesn't matter what flavor it is, make a milkshake, people, especially on a hot day. Okay, so we have the strawberry gel, we have the chia seeds, we have the coconut cream. Um, what are we missing? Well, interestingly, and I know this is going to seem strange to some people, we're going to add just a pinch of salt. Now, a pinch of salt is about an eighth of a teaspoon, and a dash is even less. That's about a sixteenth of a teaspoon or even less. So those are very precise measurements, I know. You're doing this to taste because you're doing it for you. Now, if you own a restaurant and you decide you want to make batches and batches of this to be serving people, well, now we're in a different category like we are with my spice blends. Those are very specific and they are measured down to the one hundredth of a gram so that every one of my batches is exactly the same. That's not what we're doing here. Here, we're doing something yummy as a treat, and being that precise doesn't seem like a treat thing to me. Anyway, okay, so now we are going to add about half a cup of ice. It can be a little more, it can be a little less, and this has been in here melting for a little bit, so I'm gonna add that little bit of water. Now, that does not look like any milkshake that I have ever seen, but trust me it is. And then we are just going to put a sprinkle of powdered erythritol. Now again, do this to, to taste, and the amount of erythritol you add is going to be different if you use jello powder than it is if you use um, regular already made jello. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon in here because the jello is already sweetened. So all we're sweetening is the coconut cream and the ice cubes and the chia seeds. So that is about a tablespoon. And we will set the rest aside. And look at us go. It is only 10.15 and we are ready to make a milkshake. So let's do it. Okay. Lid for the milkshake. Where is it? There it is. You know, I have to be honest with you guys. I don't know. I think it was the heat yesterday. It was very hot here yesterday. And I was exhausted when we went to bed last night. And I slept in a little bit this morning. So if I look a little bit frazzled, that is why. Okay, now, I found a while ago this little baby bullet blender. I used to have a bullet blender, but... I don't know what happened to it. I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it at some point. But I found this one <coughs> secondhand. So it's a lot cheaper to buy it that way. And it is wonderful for doing small things like this. So if you have a bullet, use that. If you see one of these and you don't have a bullet, or you see a bullet for sale, 
um, yeah, they're they're awesome, and they work great for spices. They work great for all kinds of things. Okay, here we go. Gonna get noisy. <laughs> we have created. Okay, now, that does not look very thick and creamy at the moment, and that's because it isn't. You need to give the chia seeds, I don't know, 15 minutes-ish? Mm. That is very yummy. That is very strawberry-y. So what do you guys like? as a treat when it's cold outside or when it's hot outside now later on when it's cold outside hopefully that isn't for two or three months i'm crossing my fingers i know where i live <coughs> pardon me we will be doing something um, that does not involve milkshakes it'll involve hot chocolate and it'll be nice and spicy and you guys will love it so i'm already planning for fall and winter okay there we go now I want you to watch what happens when I pour this out of here. You can see that it's already getting gelatinous. Whoops! Did you see the ice cubes fall out of there? You know what that tells me? It tells me that we need to put this back in there. I thought all the ice cubes were gone. Okay, so we are going to do this for another couple of seconds make sure that we get all of that ice blended up not that it would be a terrible thing if we didn't but okay let's try this one more time you know, by doing that, really all we've done is just given these chia seeds a little bit more time to get all... Yeah, well, we might have one in there. That's all right. Ice on a hot day is not a bad thing. Now, if you want to double this and do it in a bigger blender, um, you can definitely do that. Now, I am making a point of scraping the chia seeds out of here. I don't want to lose any of them. They are great fiber if that's something that you need or are concerned about. And there we have an amazing strawberry milkshake that I have made a little bit of a mess on on the side. So we're just going to clean that up. doesn't matter for the taste, but there we go. That looks a little better. And it lets me do another taste test. So in Canada, I don't know whether you're aware, but in Canada, um, it is a long weekend, just a civic holiday. Somebody somewhere along the way decided that to go from the 1st of July, which is Canada Day in Canada, to Labor Day weekend in September was way too long for Canadians to go without having a holiday that they get paid for, right? That's awesome. Gotta love that. So um, they came up with a civic holiday the first weekend in August. So that's where we're at. And so if you're having any kind of a holiday or a special occasion, whether it's a wedding or a birthday or whatever it is, and you're looking for something fun and nutritious, and low carb because in this entire strawberry milkshake we have two grams of carbs that's it so and not only do we have two grams of carbs in here but this is a milkshake now if you want to add some collagen powder to this if that's something that you're taking taking you like my English there that was pretty good huh um, add collagen powder to it 
You can add MCT oil to it. You can add hemp hearts to it. Now make sure that whatever you're adding, you're accounting for any extra carbs. So collagen powder, none. MCT oil, none. Hemp hearts, there would be some. There's also some extra nutrition. So whether it's um, a brunch or it's for breakfast, if you need something to help get you through to your one meal of the day later on, this is a good option. And if you are as lucky as I am, you will have had someone go out to the garden and bring in a fresh strawberry to set on top, just to make it look extra special. So what is it that you're planning for your long weekend? Um, I am going to be putting a roast on our rotisserie on our barbecue in about half an hour. And it's, it's a very large roast. I had actually thought about doing that with you today, but it didn't seem like the right time. So we'll do that another time maybe. So it's going to be hanging out on the barbecue all day for at least five or six hours, cooking low and slow, so it will be wonderful and medium rare come supper time around four o'clock. And that's typically when we have our supper. And I've had people comment on that several times because we eat very early most of the time. And the reason that we do that is because it gives your body time to digest what you've eaten so that you sleep better at night and that's important. Sleep is half. Yep, I'm, even though I'm not a scientist, I'm going to say sleep is half of um, the equation to good health and weight loss and regaining your, your um, health and I'm just going to do this so that we can see each other a little better. So make sure that you have a bedtime routine and a bedtime. And I got to tell you, that is a real challenge if you live where we do, because right now, um, at this time of year, it doesn't even get dark until 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. If you're living further north, it's even later than that. And if you're living further north even still, maybe it doesn't get dark at all. But do what you have to do to make your bedtime routine something that is an everyday thing. Whether you're going to bed at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, whatever it is you're gonna do. If you're watching a movie, schedule it for before that. If you are working on something outside, set a timer. Um, you know me, Alexa and I hang out all the time and I'm, yeah, she's listening to me now. Alexa, stop. There, now she's not listening to us anymore. So. Whatever it is that you need to do, set an alarm on your watch, set an alarm on your phone, so that you can get into the routine of having a schedule. Doing something consistently for one month will make it a habit. That's what they say. I don't think it takes a month to have um, eating sugar a habit, but for good habits, it takes a full month. So do that. Set your bedtime, set your meal times, get your sleep, get your nutrition, drink your milkshake, and enjoy the long weekend. Because I promise you, mm, that has got so much awesome strawberry flavor, and I want to show you. Look at what has happened just in the few minutes that we have been talking, that has gotten so thick. And the difference between this and a strawberry shake, using real strawberries, the real strawberries would have added an additional four grams of carbs. If we used a quarter of a cup of strawberries, it would have added, no, three grams of carbs. So then we would have been talking about something that had five net grams of carbs. Well, I don't want that in the morning. I'm very stingy with my carb budget. So this has two grams of net carbs. I'm perfectly okay with that. Mm. 
So, have your strawberry milkshake. And before anybody says anything, yes, I am aware that sugar-free jello is made with aspartame. And I will say to you this morning the same thing that I said three years ago. I don't use it a lot. I do use it occasionally. And it is a whole lot better for us than sugar. I hope all of you do your very best to live your best version of this shining life. And join me on Wednesday because on Wednesday I'm going to tell you a story about a little old lady in Walmart. And we're going to make an amazing salad that has some surprises in it. So I will see you Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. because we are here three times a week, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 10 a.m. Mountain. And it is three of my favorite parts of the week hanging out with you. So I hope you do your very best to live your best version of this shining life from now until Wednesday. That's what we're going to go do. And I am going to go and get that roast ready, putting some um, TSL Organics coffee and spice uh, beef rub on it and watching it cook over the barbecue for the next five hours while we work outside and enjoy this amazing heat. Did you notice that I was wearing something to try and cool things off today? So thank you to my wonderful mom for making this for me.